Before we start the show today, I just wanted to throw a word of warning out there. Uh, Jeff King over at The Den of Tools, he is supposed to get one of these, I think, this week as well. He's in like Montana or something. So, Jeff, when you uh, when I do the outside clips, have your wife cover your eyes or something because there's going to be green grass and green trees out there because it's January and I'm in southern Texas. Good luck, Jeff. <laughs> Howdy folks, it's New Tool Monday here at Coffee and Tools. <laughs> and I've got something that I use almost every day, but I use it for like 10 different applications. So I'm gonna show you the applications, but really it's all about the tool and a great price, got a discount for you, that sort of thing. If you wanna, you know, check that out in the description below, we've got a link to where you can get a good deal on this thing. Yeah, it's a leaf blower, but if you're a woodworker, there's a lot of things you can do with a leaf blower besides blowing leaves. And that's what I want to talk a little bit about. But I also want to talk about this particular machine right here. It's not the strongest leaf blower ever made in the earth, but it is also, it's not the weakest. And for the price, it sort of falls in that, uh, well, I'm going to call it the Goldilocks zone because it's a good price, good features. So that's why it's here. And uh, the gang over there at uh, Phil Pow, sent this over and said check it out you know do a review so the very first thing I noticed was it has a lot of power puts out 450 CFM wow you know that's pretty good it says right there but that also creates on turbo 120 miles per hour of wind so yeah you can definitely blow some stuff around with this bad boy but it has like it's basically three speeds it's they say two speeds plus turbo but actually three speeds is what that is. You've got a low and so-called, I guess we'll call it the high, and then when you hit the turbo button, you blast, you know. But I, uh, let's take a look at some crazy applications, why I use this thing like, I use a blower here almost every day. Let's do it. If you have one of these bad boys, the planers, one board through here and you've got sawdust and a mess like crazy all over the place so a lot of times i like to use a leaf blower afterwards and just blow everything out into well open the garage door first <laughs> key and blow it all outside it's just it's messy okay so a leaf blower is a great tool around that another another tool that makes a lot of sawdust is this guy right here uh, it's a nice little chop saw, but when you're done with it, there is sawdust trapped everywhere, all over it, on top, on bottom. It's just, it, the sawdust is like, like that. It's just everywhere. So, again, leaf blower, just blows it all out. Again, <laughs> open the garage, always open the garage door first before you do this, and then blow it outside. Same with the table saw. You start to use the table saw when you're finished with it. You get an old leaf blower like this one, and you just blow all the all the uh, sawdust off the table, blow it all outside through the garage door here and uh, blow it back to the earth from which it came. Uh, even out here, after I've finished uh, cutting grass and stuff, I'll use the blower to clean the tractor off, clean all the dust and crap off of it. The tractor's 38 years old, so it's, you know, it, it, it helps to, you know, blow all the old grass cuttings and stuff that gets caught up in here. And again, a blower, leaf blower. Again, if you uh, wash the engine on the old Jeep, or you just wash the engine, or you just want to get the dirt out of there, a leaf blower is a great tool to dry all the water away from like the electrical stuff like that inside something like the Jeep. If you have water trap or something like that when you wash your car, sometimes a lot of times you can use a leaf blower and not knock all the water away from like areas where you know water collects in the car truck. Did I mention that uh, you can also blow leaves off the roof? of the house which is a you need to do that once a year at least or something and also these gutters fill with leaves so it's always kind of fun to get out here with the old leaf blower and just smack away at it the Phil Power B8 Pro leaf blower introduction okay the model here is the B8 Pro the battery is 20 volt with a 4 amp hour or 80 watt hour charger is 2.5 amp motor is cordless and also the motor is 600 watt and it's also brushless speed regulation absolutely with speed controls at two levels plus turbo each level produces uh, the first level one is at 85 miles per hour the second level is at 105 and the turbo level puts it at 120 miles an hour of wind and level one is 300 CFM with level two being 380 CFM with the turbo at 450 CFM 
That's some of the neat features of this particular blower. And now back to our show. So that was nine reasons why the blower is a pretty cool item, but it's a good tool. And 10th reason would be to blow anyone with COVID-19. Just get him, you know, stay back. You know. Anyway, we want to talk more about the features of this one. It, it comes with a nice instruction manual on, on it and battery charger, real nice unit, two and a half amp battery charger. So you'll be up and running in no time. Battery's a four amp hour and it's 20 volt. Uh, the cool part is when you put the battery on, I'll just pick it up with two fingers, it's balanced. So I found this blower here is really comfortable. You're not fighting it. It's not, you know, heavy front or heavy back and you're not trying to battle with the blower while you're using it. So that's kind of uh, nice and easy on the wrist. Has a real nice pistol grip, easy thumb to right here to hit the turbo switch to, you know, give you that boost in power. We like the boost in power thing. So this is uh, overall, it's a nice product, but we have great discount, good price and everything from uh, the seller there and not affiliated with me. I, you know, I'm, I'm not getting commission money or something to sell you these things. I'm just telling you, this is a really good blower, but it's also a very useful tool around the shop. So, hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, please like, share, subscribe as always. And uh, if you don't have a portable battery operated leaf blower, maybe it's time to step up to one because they are handy. <laughs> They are, they are an awesome tool that you can use. You pretty much almost every day. If you cut a piece of wood, you can get rid of those chips. Oh, and when you blow the chips, blow them over the neighbor's yard. Then it's his problem, right? All right, over and out. I'm out of here.